So, but the first person I'm going to introduce is Ed Lands, who is the Vortex Immersion Dome. And, but not only that, he's a student of consciousness. And uh, so it, it's like perfect. I love my speakers, by the way. I, it, what Ted did to, to, to prevent people from seeing these wonderful speakers really punch them out. You know. <laughs> uh, so, so where's, my, where's Ed? Here he is. Okay. Okay. So I give you Ed Lyons. Hi. Uh, welcome to the Vortex Dome. My name is Ed Lance. I'm uh, president and uh, CTO of Vortex Emergent Media. Okay, so just a little about me. Um, uh, I had a vision of domes um, when I was a teenager, uh, oddly enough, as spaces where we're immersing a live audience and, and the performers projecting their consciousness on the dome and taking people deep into inner realms of, of consciousness. And uh, I wrote a little science fiction ditty about it. It stuck with me all these years, and um, it really inspired uh, the space that you're in. Uh, a little about my um, background. Well, um, ha a little admission here. I am a skeptic. <laughs> um, I, I am an engineer, a practicing engineer. I'm trained as a, a physicist. And, um, and I'm skeptical of the whole darn thing. I'm skeptical of the skeptics and the scientismists who think they know everything and have it all locked down, because I don't think they do. And I'm skeptical of magical thinking, where we're like, oh, everything's possible. Well, jump off a building and tell me you're going to fly you know, using your mind. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I believe that these two seeming uh, polarities uh, can coexist, uh, and, and which is um, what I'd like to talk about. Um, uh, just a little about me um, also, uh, we um, launched a network called Harmony Channel uh, some years ago. Uh, I've designed uh, digital domes all over the world, Library of Alexandria, Papalote Museum in Mexico City, and so on. Um, and uh, next slide, please. And I'm going to move through these slides like really fast. <laughs> really, really, really fast. Um, and the other thing about me is uh, I am a student of consciousness and um, just uh, amazed as a scientist at these inner realms uh, within me and trying to understand it. And I'm like, why isn't anyone paying attention to this? Oh, oh you can't go there. Well, I'm like, sorry. So, uh, so the scientist to me uh, uh, is studying the outer realm of phenomenology. So uh, I've been inspired by scientists. I've been inspired by mystics, both. Um, and next slide. And, um, and, and to me, I mean, what this is all about is like bringing the two together. This is about healing, okay? We're not divisive and attacking each other and this sort of thing. Look, let's figure it out. You know, that's what scientists, that's the spirit of science is to figure this stuff out. And so to me, uh, I want to go into, the, into my inner realms with the quest of what is this and how does it work and and gee I just had an out-of-body experience what the heck is that you know oh it's just firing neurons no 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 that's that's not a good enough explanation because that interacted with this which interacted with this other thing something's going on here and I want to know what it is right so the scientist in me comes out um, and and uh, when you put the two together uh, look at all these uh, wonderful people uh, um, uh, Jules Verne, I'd maybe add to that list. Uh, he's not a scientist, but these visionaries have, have uh, driven science. These are people who've gone within and, and, and seen things and come out with these incredible intuitive leaps of science. And, and, the, and that's the paradigm shifting that Kuhn talked about. Next. Um, so to me, the challenge of mysticism uh, if you will, if you want to call it that, what do we call it? Dualism. Uh, seeing, going, uh, Hey, it, it, it's like taking what your inner state of affairs seriously is what we're talking about here, is what, what I'm referring to. Um, the challenge is there's a lot of stuff that happens in there that's kind of hard to share. And then when you speak to people, it's like, w w what are you talking about? If they haven't had the same experience, right? So um, next slide. Uh, so, so there's this um, challenge of mysticism to communicate these inner experiences. Um, so that brings us to uh, going back to my childhood and, and this vision of the domes. I'm like, oh my God, you can, you can communicate with this immersive media 
you can communicate interstates of consciousness. So, so that's like one of, the, one of the things that's driving me to do this. Now, of course, science education and all this other uh, stuff these domes are being used for, you see on the next slide, um, is uh, immersive cinema. I mean, these are, uh, and, and there are about 1,200 of these domes around the world now uh, in science centers, in museums, uh, and uh, they're immersing young people and taking them into other worlds. Uh, worlds imagined, worlds of scientific simulations, uh, real places around the planet. It's just incredible. So, so we have this now, this wide band uh, communication medium that can take, actually take over your brain. And um, so, uh, and, and, and all these different markets, uh, you have uh, themed entertainment, thrill rides, you have um, these little portable planetariums they take out in the bush in Africa, right? Um, giant screen theaters like IMAX domes, uh, they're all converting to digital now, and, which means they're accessible to any kid with a laptop. Um, uh, and the digital planetariums, of which there's uh, over a thousand. Next. So, uh, so what's cool about this kind of programming is it, sure, it can trigger uh, conceptual realizations and deeper understanding, but uh, the next slide uh, is um, the affective domain. And, and there's all kinds of things that you can trigger in people, some of which are maybe better left for private. Uh, uh, but. Um, you know, uh, goosebumps, uh, awe, uh, mind-opening experiences. So, so uh, that's, that's where we'd like to go with this. Um, next. Uh, so there's uh, digital domes all over the world. Next. Um, mobile domes that we're taking, and, and these are events that we've done. Um, uh, gee, uh, Super Bowl, uh, South by Southwest, we're taking these domes out and we're doing corporate activation. Sometimes it's like corporate, it's like um, digital wallpaper more than a, a, you know, uh, an awe-inspiring experience, but um, it's cool stuff, and, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a new field that's taking off now. So next. Uh, so this is our dome here in LA, and the next slide will show you uh, how we um, uh, are doing all these cool events. Uh, we're developing content of all, all types. Um, a Bali doll uh, is what that is. Uh, Amrita Sin um, is an artist who comes in here with a whole uh, stage full of dancers, right, and puts on this big show with this immersive backdrop. It's really cool stuff. Next um, is, uh, these are just a few shows in development. Legacy was, was actually requested of Kate and I to develop uh, a show that would communicate uh, peace and non-duality. So it's like overcoming the shadow and all these archetypal characters are dancers outside of this couple with their inner processes revealed. Uh, next slide. Uh, is a show called Awakening. This is a shamanic uh, kind of a show that came to us and that we're helping to develop. Next is um, uh, digital spas, and these are environments uh, which you'll see on the next slide is a, um, uh, the purpose here, uh, just keep going there, is to deliver experiences that uh, are wellness, uh, promote wellness, right, in these uh, environments. So, um, and finally, what you have here is, is where we're taking this into the cinemas and cineplexes, uh, big uh, gaming domes and, and like that. So, so as a medium, it's going to be used for all kinds of things, you know, games and, and whatnot. Uh, I'm just encouraging the consciousness community to come into these spaces and let's rock it up, you know. And um, rock and roll. I, I love this. Uh, thank you, Suzanne. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, blessings.